Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to another video. And yes, this is Minecraft Classic, if you don't know. And I'm also on my Chromebook. I have cropped out some a part of the screen, so it only shows the Minecraft Classic window. Hmm. So yeah, today I'm playing Minecraft Classic on my Chromebook. I'm doing it on a website called Unblocked Sites 76. If you want to check that website out, the link is in the description. So yeah. Also, this is back when there were limited worlds. See, as you can see, there's an invisible wall. I'm tr look, see? I'm trying to walk past the wall, but it won't let me. So, like, before Minecraft InfDev, which is infinite development, what the, um, there were limited worlds. Before Minecraft worlds were infinite, there were infinite worlds. Looks like auto-jump isn't a thing yet. It's kind of a good thing, because auto-jump can get pretty annoying. And this is before survival mode was in the game. As you can see here. Get some wood. Even though I'm not in survival, I'm just doing it for fun. Yeah, destroy. So, how do I open my inventory? E. No. I. B. Oh, okay, it's B. Well, pretty interesting blocks. There's the sponge. That looks very weird. Oh, uh, this te this texture looks disgusting. Ew. Why the heck do sponges look like this? Oh, when you break it. Look, the particles when you break it. What the particles look like. Mm. So let's see what the other blocks are. There's stone, grass, dirt, cobblestone, wood. Uh, wood, okay. Sapling, bedrock, water, still water. Lava? Still lava? You can get water and lava? No, okay, that's cool. Sand, gravel, that old gravel texture is terrible. Gold ore, iron ore, coal ore, log, leaves, sponge, glass, red, orange, yellow, what? It's all just the names of colors. Dandelion, rose, brown mushroom, red mushroom, gold, Iron, double slab, slab, brick, TNT, bookshelf, mossy rocks, obsidian, cobblestone slab, rope? What the heck is rope? Sandstone, snow, fire, light pink, forest green, brown, deep blue, turquoise, ice, creamic tile? That's netherrack. Magma, that makes sense. Pillar, okay, crate, why the heck does it say crate, and stone brick, huh, okay, let's, um, let's check out, okay, I'll try sapling, okay, looks nice, wonder if it'll grow into a tree. The leaves are still there. I think it's this is before, like, you know, if you destroy all the logs in a tree, eventually all the leaves will, like, despawn. I guess this is before that happens, so I have to destroy all them manually. Destroying tree leaves with a sapling. Haha. <laughs> so this is Minecraft Classic, or at least a remake of Minecraft Classic. Sapling still sapling, so yeah. Let's check out the water. Huh. Who knew you could get water blocks in Minecraft? Huh. Let's put place it here. Oh. Oh. Oh, it multiplies. Like multiplies. Hmm. How do I get back up? If I place one. Right there. Whoa! Ah! Uh, whoa! You can... Th um... Okay, I'm underwater. Huh? Well, I've just made an entire ocean. Hmm. 
Well, that was kind of a poor choice. We just wiped out, like, half the land here. Man. We just made it all, a whole ocean, and I can sprint so fast for some reason. Bricks. Hm. Let's just make a little platform here. And I'm like on the edge. You know what? I'm gonna make a little house out of bricks. If you know about the brick pyramid, if you don't know about it, um, then I'm gonna tell you now. The brick pyramid is a big structure, like it's a giant pyramid made of bricks that used that could that used to spawn in your world and could spawn millions of blocks from the center of the world. It's made completely out of bricks and it's useless. So you might be wondering, is it in this version? No. Because you can't go out millions of blocks. Like, it's... It was added in InfDev. Oh, look, that tree has been flooded. Let's check the inventory again. Hmm, mossy rocks... Obsidian, cobblestone slab, glass. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll um check a look at that um later. First, I need to finish building my house. Actually. Just trying not to fall off. Like making a little balcony or something. I guess I'll jump up here and here. That's where the ceiling is going to begin. Wow, that's dark. Uh, so, let's check over. Just do that. And reach over there. Do that. Ah, uh, can barely reach the hitbox. Kinda. Let's see. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. I have to extend all this. There we go. Now I can build over here. Making just a little house that I can live in in Minecraft Classic. And I kind of should be glad that at least there's, a, like, an invisible wall. To protect me from falling off the world. Because, like, in, my, in Minecraft pre-classic, you could actually just fall off the world. So, yeah. Looking pretty good. Let's just switch this to glass to make some windows. I don't really like the old glass texture. <laughs> it's like if global warming continued, the whole world would be flooded because of the rising, um, like all the icebergs and glaciers melting. Like, yeah. Hmm. Pretty nice looking house. Although, doors don't exist in this version of Minecraft. So I can't use that. 
looking pretty good. Except for that window looks so weird. I'll just do that. Mmm, nice. Let's check out this rope. Wow. So I guess I can climb up it. Pretty neat. Oh, there's not even a brake particle. Ah! Come on. Okay. Need to make my way over to that land there. Then... Oh, so pressing G just clears the that thing in your hot bar. So there's my house over there. I need to make my way back over to it. I don't really want to sprint, because then I could go do. Then I'll go blazing fast, and then like I could accidentally go back into the water. What is this hole doing here? Here, I'll fix that up. No, you thank me. There you go, I'm back at my house. <sighs> I'm gonna destroy this last bit of rope. Nice. Then? I would like some rope again. But to do this. Oh. Oh yeah, I forgot I destroyed that bit of the balcony there. Boop, boop, and th that. Huh? That there. It's accidentally placed a block in the wrong place. There. And there. Nice. Do you think I can protect myself from falling off? Let's see. There's no stairs or anything. No fences of any sort. There's snow. It also shows the IDs, like Bedrock is ID 7, Sponge is ID 19, TNT is 46, Gold is 41, Magma is 62, Fire is 54. Speaking of fire, I would like to put a little fireplace in my house. First, I want to put a little bookshelf place in. Um, uh... Just, just don't ask why. Okay. Bookshelf place complete. Now I have the fire. What does this look like anyway? Oh. I can go in fire and not take fire damage. Well, I guess I'm in creative. What? The fires break particles and they're even animated. That's, that, that's cool. <laughs> so... I'll use some bricks to put it right. Actually, I'll use some slabs. Those are surprisingly big. And then I'll just put some netherrack right here. Boop. Just for some decoration, because in modern versions of the game, fire burns infinitely on netherrack. So what else should I add? I have a fireplace and some bookshelves. Can I clear my whole inventory? Huh? I just... Um, well, I can fly now. Huh? Oh. Yes, that makes sense. Wait a second. I can place fire on fire? How the heck do I stop flying?
Oh, so there's commands. <laughs> okay. Well, I can now fly. Cues to go higher. There's my impossible fire over there. Well, I'm just going to reload the page. And start a new game. I miss you, old house. The heck? How did gold ore generate right here? What? Oh, there's more. There's even more. What? Why is there so many gold ore? Well, anyway, let's see what the TNT does. Let's place one down and... What? Um... Placing it just clears blocks. The heck is... Well, I guess here's to, it's a great place to put my lava pool. And yes, you heard me right. A lava pool. Place it here. Just wait for it to slowly spread across here. So I'll just wait for it to spread. I figure out how to get up. Oh. Okay, I'll just do that, sure. Then do that. There we go. It looks like it's almost done. Let's see. So there's a water pool over here. It's kind of like a beach. Nice. Let's see. Obsidian and fire. Hmm. This gives me an idea. What? Oh. Hmm. So, anyway. This gives me an idea. Let's see if I can build a nether portal. There. Boop. I got a nether portal frame already, and... Okay. Doesn't work. That doesn't mean I can still have fun. I'll get some violet. Then just pretend it's an. I'll say. Let's pretend it's an activated nether portal. Hmm. Okay, it doesn't look that realistic, but who cares? Let's see the sponge. What does sponge do? Oh. 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 Well, that will come in handy for draining this lake. <laughs> Boop. Mm. Mm. It's like the water doesn't flow into those other spaces. It, as long as, like, the sponges are there. Pretty nice. Oh. Okay. Looks like we broke the rules of Minecraft. Oh, classic Minecraft at that. Bye bye. Or veins. Not only. Not only. Oh. You keep the sponge there. 
Not only are the ore veins gigantic in this version, but sponges instantly clear water as long as the sponge is still there. Um, it will not flow. And, oh, can't destroy the bedrock. So yeah, and TNT instantly detonates and clears away blocks instantly. Oh, there's still a little bit of water left I still need to take care of. Ooh, some iron ore. No water shall remain. Well, that was a close one. First, let's let me get some sand. Where's the sand? There. There we go. I'll keep this little pond of water as I clear away all the other water. Then I have to painfully destroy all the sponges I place down. Once I'm done clearing away all the water, I'll show you. Huh. Done. Okay. Okay, that's all the sponges I have to destroy. That This will be painful. It will take a painful amount of time. But I have cleared away this entire lake. Oh, pond. Whatever. Sponges in this old texture look weird. Just destroy all these sponges. It takes a painful amount of time to destroy all of them. Oops. Uh. Oh. 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 Wait. Three. Then replace that with stone. Yes. There we go. Blocked it off. Are all of those destroyed? Yes. All of them are destroyed. And then, I will fill this entire thing with lava. Place one down there. Then we just have to wait till the whole thing fills up. Meow. Looks like that's all done. The lava is no animated texture, which I do not like. Ah, oh. So, now let's dig down. See what's at the bottom of the world. What? Oh. Oh. Looks like I found a cave. Huh? Oh, a lava pool. Hold on, let me keep digging down. Oh. Huh. Let me clear out this area. All of it. Looks like there's a giant lava lake at the bottom of the world. Let's use some TNT to clear up all the blocks. Oh, TNT doesn't work down here. Huh, should have expected that. Let me get some sponges. Oh. Don't work with lava. But the slabs do. Uh -huh. <laughs> yep, the bedrock layer is down here and I cannot destroy it. Okay, so how do I get back up? This is gonna be painful. 
Wait, I should just pillar up. The cave system. Looks like it stops up there. So, I was going to use the cave system to get back up. But it does not go up to the surface, or at least just close to the surface. Oh, dirt. We must be nearing on the surface. And that is correct. Oh, that's the hole I dug. What? Oh. Okay, that's weird. Weird Minecraft physics. Anyway, let's just do the same. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> This is the world edge. No, not there. Here. A giant... It's... A, a, anyway, of an invisible wall. Um... With bedrock flooring. Wait, if I get bedrock... Oh. Uh, I can destroy bedrock. Just not ones that are naturally generated. Let me check on my giant lava pool that I cleared out from the giant water pool. That's the first lava pool I did. I'm talking about the one over there. At least I think it's over there. Yeah, but it's over here. Wow, the whole thing is filled up. Speaking of filled up, I have a good mind to extend it. Ah, Minecraft classic. Where only f where few things but more fun things are possible. Oh, a cave system. Hmm. Too bad the cave system's gonna be filled with lava. Actually, what the heck? No. I do not want the cave system to be filled with lava. I would like it to be accessible. And meanwhile, the lava cr crawls ever so slowly to the cave entrance. It will not be able to enter for various reasons. only TNT could destroy stone. In modern versions of the game, TNT can destroy stone easily. But it can't in classic for some reason. It can't at all. Whoa! Oh, that's actually pretty cool. Look at the whole thing I dug out. It's gonna be filled with lava. Oh. Making just a little river so it can access over here. Ooh. There we go. That's what I like to see. Wait, I'm gonna try and get up there. Whoa! Ah! Worth a shot, though. Yeah. Got up. Okay. Ben just watches it. Fills up. Minecraft Classic is pretty plain. 
Nothing generates except for grass, stone, dirt, some ores, and trees. Yeah, there's lots of other things you can have fun with. Sandstone, bookshelf, fire, lava, gold, iron. Let's check out the still water. Looks exactly the same. Ooh. Nice. Wait, I can't tell if that was one of my... Oh, 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 oh. Can't tell if that was one of the lo one of the things I created. Wait, second. It wasn't moving. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Come on. Hopefully it doesn't fall into my giant mess of lava. Please don't. Oh, there's my lava masterpiece. Is it gonna flow into it? Speaking of, let me check it. Oh, this part didn't access. No! Aww! Oh, it looks like lava turns to stone. Aww. Come on. Well, I just flooded the world. Don't tell me how the nether portal... Somehow still works under the water. Let me clear my whole inventory. There we go! Cleared my whole inventory. So anyway, I just flooded the world again. I just don't exist. Diamonds don't exist in this world. Like in classic. What if I set a tree on fire? Hold on, let me... You climb on fire? Apparently not. There we go. Doesn't look like it's doing much. But I'll just set lots of fire everywhere. Funny how you can get fire as a block. And, like, place it everywhere. Well, it doesn't really do anything. There we go. I just set lots of stuff on fire. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Oh. Aw. Oh. Well, anyway, let me get some lava. Let's place some lava over here. Whoa. Woo. Ah, whoa. Look, you can just see it slowly expanding out. Let me destroy the nether portal. Um. Oh, 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 okay. That totally caught me off guard, like seriously. Man, if I, if I weren't quick enough, I would have been swallowed by the lava. And I wouldn't have been swallowed by it because I was like underwater. But like, the lava would turn to stone and then I'd be trapped. Then if I tried to escape by destroying the stone, then the lava would just flow onto it, and then make some new stone. Still, it is pretty cool you can get water and lava's actual blocks. Not to mention fire. Rope. I've seen lots of YouTube videos about removed and unused features, and, like, no one talks about rope. So if any of- So, if any of you watching this video make Minecraft videos, you should make a video about the rope. Or at least, make a video which includes the rope. 
I must go through the lava to a safe location. One that has not been touched by the lava. Ah, the little dandelion. No. Whoa. The lava's right there. What the heck? What's happening here? Ah! How'd the lava... Um... Okay. There's a few trees over there that won't get swallowed by the lava. There's a lot of trees over there that are in the lava and that are fine. Let's see. Place blocks. Let me bridge over. Ah. Oh. Huh? Well, I accidentally closed the game. Sorry. Okay, so yeah, that's it for this video. And bye.